Uh, let's welcome Amazon Lit, uh, Sebastian and Eric. <laughs> How we living today? We good? Fantastic. What's up, Miami? How we doing tonight? Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is so exciting. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. We got a jam-packed day full of ton of information to help all of you grow your Amazon business. But before we get started, I want everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up. I want you to turn to someone you don't know, right? Not somebody you came with, that's in a couple minutes. Someone you don't know, right? We're all gonna get uncomfortable together. And say, hey, my name is, insert name here, I appreciate you being here, let's talk after. All right? <laughs> Fantastic. Now, I want you to turn with someone you came with and say thank you for coming. Right? I appreciate you. And now, why did I do that? To change your mental and physical state, right? Because we're just sitting here, maybe a little uncomfortable. A lot of people don't know people here. Some people might not know anybody. Right, you just seen us, you're like, okay, I'm interested in Amazon or I'm already selling on Amazon, let me check out this event. Right, so we want everybody to get super uncomfortable here today. That's the name of the game. Growth happens in the uncomfortability phase. So we're all gonna get real uncomfortable. Who's down to get uncomfortable today? Raise your hand and say aye. Aye, aye. aye. louder, raise your hand and say aye. aye. Awesome, fantastic everybody, thank you. Everybody can take a seat, we're gonna get right into this here. So first of all, I wanna give a shout out to Wizards of Ecom. Can we get a round of applause? for Wizards of Ecom for allowing us to host this event here. And Carlos Alvarez in the back there. Thank you so much, we appreciate all of you. And all the guys who came to help, we got Alex, we got Mike, we got Gabe, and we got so many other people here, right? This event took a little while to put together, so let's give them a round of applause too. Thank you so much. And the last people we wanna give a round of applause to is all of you, so give all, all of you a round of applause for coming out tonight. It's been a long week. I'm not going to be able to talk by tomorrow, but I'm okay with that, right? It's all about sacrifices. So we're excited to be here. We got a hell of a presentation. It's going to be pretty wild, but why don't we talk a little bit about the early times, Sebastian, what it was like early on growing our business and like that, those growth phases, right? Like that first couple thousand dollars in sales, what that looked like for you? First of all, the reason we do this is because we understand what it's like starting small or having zero information and not knowing where to look for the correct information. There's a lot of misinformation out there and so why Eric and I became so prevalent on social media more Eric than I, but became so prevalent on social media is because there was a lack of correct information out there. And it's scary when you go into a business, no matter what business, not just Amazon, any business, you're taking a risk. It is very scary. There is a lot of fear of failure. But then there's the other side. What drove us and what's probably driving you is the fear of never trying mm. and never knowing if you would have found success. And so we're here to talk about a lot of the ways that we succeeded. Because early on, that first thousand dollars for me was more inspiring than the first hundred thousand. Because the first thousand showed us that, hey, this thing really works. Mm -hmm. As long as I put the work in and I keep going, this thing will work. So that first thousand, I think, was more of an aha moment than the hundred thousand and even the million. Awesome, so let's do a little poll here real quick. I wanna kinda of gauge the audience here. So who here is completely new, never sold a product on Amazon? Show of hands. One, two, three, four. We got about six, seven of you. So brand new, right? We got about seven of you. Who here is doing between uh, zero dollars and a hundred thousand dollars per month on Amazon? All right, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. We've got about 20. And now who's doing um, zero? What was that? A month or a year? A month. Oh, okay. I know, it's a big gap, but we're only gonna do two of these. <laughs> we're only gonna do three of these, right? <laughs> now who's doing more than $100,000 a month on Amazon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, 100K plus. Now we're gonna take it even one step further. Who's doing more than a million dollars a month on Amazon? One, two, 
Awesome. One milli. Can we queue up that Wayne track? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, we got two, right? So regardless of where, why did I do this, right? Not to call anybody out, right? Because we're, when you're running a business, you're gonna experience all of these stages if you continue to grow, right? We're all new at some point in our business. Sebastian and I were brand new in his basement, lugging UPS boxes into his uncle's minivan, taking them every single day. How was that for you? You remember doing that? Of course. Awesome. It's part right? of the driving factor. It's part, it's of, part of the driving, of the driving factor. factor. Sure. Understanding the ins and outs of your business. So we're all new. And then we start hitting this phase, right? Doing 10,000 a month, 15,000 a month, 20,000 a month. You start paying off some of your bills, some of your car loans, maybe helping your family out, taking care of your children. That shit's exciting to me, right? That's when you really see like, oh my God, there's an opportunity here. And then you, and then you reach these levels, right? Like these 13 people here. And now you're like, holy shit, my life's changing. This is life-changing money. And then you break this, right? If you keep putting in action, keep taking initiative, you break this number a month. And now you're like, oh my God, this is crazy. I used to be flipping products out of my basement. Now I got all these employees and I'm able to go travel around the country while my business operates, right? So these are all different phases of your businesses that will happen if you take action. I promise you that. I promise you that. So right here, 10%, right? This isn't, we're not talking about margins here, right? This isn't like wholesale gross margin. Right now, all of you are part of the top 10%. Does anybody know why that is? Anybody. Gotcha. Took action, right? So 90% of people will never attend an event like this. 90% of adults will never attend an event like this. So everybody here is already part of the top 10%, right? Because how can you tell who a person is, right? Is it, is it what they say? Is it their hopes and their dreams? Is that how you can tell a person is? If I, if I stand up here and you don't know me, right? You don't know me from a hole in the wall and I meet you outside and I tell you I'm gonna be a millionaire one day or I'm gonna take care of my family. I'm gonna move my parents out, out of their small house and move them to a bigger house. But you don't know me from a hole in the wall. What would you think? I got maybe, maybe this guy's gonna do it, but I don't know, right? So what really separates is action. Because right? people could talk a lot of talk, but it's all about taking that action, taking that initiative. That's what separates the winners from the non-action takers, right? We're not gonna call them losers because nobody's a loser. The non-action takers and the winners. That's what separates us here. So we got a ton of information here. I think we should just get right into it, right, Sebastian? Let's go. First, I wanna do a little poll again. Who came, I wanna see, if you came from really far, raise your hand. Like really far. Where'd you come from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire, okay. Georgia. Georgia, that's not really far. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, did you run here? Did you bicycle here? What about you? Houston. Where? Houston. Right? Houston, baby. What about you? New York. New York, okay. Okay, oh, you, you got it. New York. Anybody else who beat San Francisco? Come see me after I got you on a shirt, my friend. Thank you so much for coming out, and thank you all for coming out. We appreciate you taking the time. You know, how many people came out just for this, right? Don't live in the, in the Miami era. Area it came out just for this. See, that shit's exciting. So we're gonna cover a lot of stuff today. You know, scaling your business, all that good stuff here. All that good stuff. And we're gonna cover something super important, right? So if you have a pen and a pad, I encourage you to take notes here because we're gonna be talking about the transformation block. Nobody's ever heard of this. How do I know nobody's ever heard about the transformation block? Because this is, this is what we created. <laughs> this is what we use in our own business. This is our blueprint from where we went from start to where we are today. Yeah, and we wanna provide as much value as possible because at the end of the day, we're, we're value-driven people. So I know I wake up every morning, I roll out of my bed onto my knees, thank God for another day, and I think like, how can I be of maximum service to the God of my understanding and my fellows, right? To all of you, how can I be of maximum service? How can I deliver as much energy and value as possible? What do you do when you wake up in the morning? There's a few things to my daily routine. First of all, I love to get up early, and what we're gonna get into Understand that your business, no matter how much we cover here, is gonna always depend and parallel to you. Meaning that the more you grow, the more you get uncomfortable, the more you change and adapt, so will your business. Do not think that anything that we show you today, if you're not building on yourself and taking action, your business will, will not change. So this is a transformation block right here. All right? We're gonna redraw it right here. I want you all, if you got pens and pads, please draw this. If not, take a picture, right? So it's it's pretty, I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna use all this. All right, so it's a transform transformation box. This is the TTB. All right, and this first box is your IOs. And your second box is your EOs. Everybody can see that? And this third box is your ROs. And then your fourth box is your four Ps. 
And we're gonna dive deep into all this, right? We're gonna break down what the internal operations means, the external, the relationship opportunities in the four positions, so you can further understand that information. So 28% of businesses fail, right? That's a lot, right? Some of them fail in the first year, the rest fail in year two and three, and then half of those fail in year five, right? So you need to take continued action to continue to innovate in your systems because while other people are changing their businesses and moving forward and understanding Amazon's terms of service, who loves Amazon terms of service? Raise your hand and say aye. <laughs> Nobody? Oh, come on. Aye, ah, she does, Vanessa does. Awesome, fantastic, somebody does, right? So like, you gotta understand these ins and outs of the processes. How important is it to understand that information? It's the difference between having a taxable business and not. So. We're gonna be covering deep into that, and you have to understand, 72% of these businesses fail. And the reason they fail is exactly what we're gonna be covering. So please take notes, you know, take pictures, and understand how you can grow your business. Don't let fear get in the way, because all of you can succeed. It's just about changing, and that's what we're here to provide. Yeah, so this is our DOB right here. Not like my actual birthday, but. <laughs> Uh, 7 11 2013. So almost eight years ago. We're coming up on our eighth birthday, right? Yes. What are we going to do? We're going to Bali for our eighth birthday or just work more? I think we're going to work more. Yeah. <laughs> just work more. So, this is a little bit about the early times and, and what we learned over the years in developing our processes within our systems, right? So, some of you, how many, how many have their own, whether it's a storage unit, something other than your house or a prep center that you are packaging inventory in? Show a hand. So, warehouse. Um, storage unit, okay, garage. All right, now how many of you still operating this business out of your house? Okay. Mm. And now how many do not do either of those and use a third party prep center? Okay. All right, great, so this is like that first phase when you move into your first place. It could be very confusing, right Sebastian? Absolutely, I had no idea. Actually in the first place, this is, this is our second. In the first place, right at the beginning, I just had cardboard on the floor, and I was <laughs> stacking the products on the floor. And that's where you slept too, right? On the cardboard? That's room? not where I slept, that's, that's where I kept you. Um, and then we had Vinny Dunn, you remember Vinny? Yeah, RIP Vinny Dunn, man. Yeah, I gave him a notebook, and I, he said, what should I do? I gave him a notebook, and I said, count the inventory. It was probably like 100 units. I said, count the inventory. I, you know, I just didn't know where to go, and so I spent a lot of time learning how to develop the business, and you know, all of you should not only take action, but continue to learn, which obviously you are because you're here, you're part of that 10%. Absolutely, part of that 10%. So this is what our second place looked like. Um, and, and these are real tables, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but these are real tables. But this is what it looked like, right? So in the, in the morning, we would have, you know, whatever, seven, 10 employees we came, and they would all go to this little section and they'd grab one of those fold-up Costco tables. You know what tables I'm talking about, right? The little lunch tables, and they'd grab one and they'd pick a corner. Right? That's why I have these tables just everywhere. They'd pick a corner and then in the back corner we'd have the bachata section, in this corner we'd have the hip hop, and then over here we'd have the country because there was no organization. Everybody just did whatever they wanted to do and we were cool with it because we didn't know. We didn't know like, do you know how much money we're losing by not having processes in place? So we just kind of winged it. That was fun though. It was, a, it was cool listening to music and stuff. We, and we, need, we went through that so we could get to where we are and because at that early stage we didn't have a mentor. We'll get into later on who we found and others that we found that helped us scale, transform ourselves faster. All of you can do it yourselves, but it's about do you wanna take five years or one year to get your business to the next level? Absolutely. So then we went from this, right? We went from this to this. A little more organized. Right, so we had production stations. No more, no more picking tables up and going wherever you want, right? I wanna cut that time out. No more listening to 50 different types of music. You get one type of music and you share it every day, right? Because I'm all about company morale. How important is company morale? It's everything. So important, right? So I want my, my employees and our employees to be happy, dancing a little, laughing, joking, because their happiness means my business is growing. The more they get paid, our business is growing. It's all value right there. So this is what we did. Right, this is in warehouse number what, three or four? One of them. Four. Four, right? So we set up these production stations and the products would come in to this other warehouse, which is the warehouse you saw in the previous uh, photo. They would come in this way, we would stage them in front of each production station and then we would funnel them back out the other door. And it would just be like a circle, in one door, out the other, in one door, out the other. And here, what, what were we producing a day here maybe? 
Three, I'd say three thousand. Three thousand units a day out of this this operation with one, two, three, four, four production stations. Now, who here has production stations that look similar to this? Okay, one, two, three, four. Awesome, fantastic, right? That's the growth opportunity. So, changing up your systems a little bit, getting uncomfortable, and switching it up to streamline your efficiencies. And we're going to get into that a lot. But now we got this.